Hello friends, I'm Rita Boyer, the educator at Prospect Presbyterian Church in Maplewood, New Jersey. Thank you for joining me for our Connect Ed Storytime video for October the 18th. Have you ever wished that you could see God? I mean, see God like we see one another? Moses did. We've been hearing stories of Moses as we find them in the book of Exodus in the Bible. And we know that Moses was a very special friend to God. We know that he often talked with God. And he was a leader who told people what God wanted them to know. But even though Moses had that close relationship with God, he wasn't entirely satisfied. He wanted to see God. And so today I'll be sharing the story, Moses Sees God. It's a story that is based on Exodus chapter 33, verses 12 through 23. But it's a story that is told with imagination. And we're grateful to the people from Seasons of the Spirit for providing that imagination in this story. Moses sometimes got mixed up. Moses wanted to understand God. He wanted to understand the people of Israel, too. Sometimes he would just hold his head in his hands and say, there's so many things I don't understand. So Moses went to talk with God. Please help me, God, Moses said. I want to understand you better. What would you like me to explain? Asked God. Well, I've seen the wonderful things that you've done. I've seen how you got the people out of Egypt. I've seen how you brought us food when we were hungry. I've seen how you got water from a rock when we were thirsty. But... But what? God asked. I haven't seen you. I want to know what you look like. I want to see your face. That's a hard thing, Moses, said God. It's hard for people to see me. You can see what I do. You can feel my love in your heart. I'm all around you, just like the air is all around you but you can't see me. But I want to see you, Moses said. I want to see you so I know who you are. Moses, you've worked very hard to help me. You have worked hard to help the people of Israel. So I'm going to do something very special for you. I can't let you see my face because you see I'm not human like you are. I don't have a head or legs or arms as you have. I'm not a man or a woman. I'm not old or young. I'm different than anything you know. But maybe I can show you something that will help you understand. Go to the big rock that you see right in front of you. There's a crack right through the center of it. Look through the crack. I'll show you something of who I am. So Moses went to the big rock. He looked through the crack. For a while, it felt as if a kind, warm hand was covering his eyes. Then the hand went away, and Moses saw. Wasn't exactly sure what he saw, though. Moses tried to tell his sister Miriam about it. It was like a flash of lightning, except it wasn't loud. It wasn't hard. It was as if my whole body filled with light. It was as if I was filled with something good and strong. But 
what you saw was a light, right? asked Miriam. Well, what I saw was bright and beautiful, but that was only a small part of it, Miriam. I felt God all around me. Now I feel as if I really know God, and I know for sure that God will always be with me and with all the people of Israel. So Moses learned in that story that he couldn't see God because God's not a person like us. After all, God can be everywhere at the same time. No body can do that. Our bodies can only be one place at a time. God is a spirit and we can't see God but we can see what God does. We can see God's love and God's goodness. Moses saw how God led the people of Israel out of Egypt, how God got them across that sea, how God fed them when they were hungry and gave them water when they were thirsty. What have you seen God do? Oh, I would love to hear your stories. I invite you to talk about that this week with your family. Look for God. Look for what God is doing. Right now I have a window open and I can hear birds rustling outside the window. I can hear the leaves and I see the leaves changing color. All of those things are things that God is doing and that God is taking care of. I see the seasons change. I saw some people that I care about today. Yes, it was on a computer screen, but in them I saw God's love and goodness. Look for God this week in what God is doing. And then, maybe at the end of the day, your family can share your God sightings with one another. Where did you see God? Let's call them God sightings. Where did you see God's love and goodness? Things, experiences, people that help you know that God is all around. I have a lot of activity pages for you this lesson. One is called God's Love, and you'll see different pictures of how you might experience God's love and goodness. And I have purposely whited out that last block because I want you to draw one of your God sightings in that square. Where did you see God's love and goodness? There is another version of this story on a paper uh, that you'll find on the Faith Formation website as well, ppcfaithformation.org, and a prayer with some motions that you can share with your families. And then for all ages, there is a coloring sheet that is going to look beautiful whenever you are done with it. You know, adults like to color too. And we find that by being quiet and just looking at these patterns and filling in these lines with our colors and resting with it, uh, sometimes we feel that deep down presence of God. And so there is a coloring sheet for all ages to help you do that. Would you please pray with me? Loving God, we admit that, like Moses, we wish we could see you face to face. Help us to pay attention to all of the things that you are doing around us. 
We thank you for all of the God sightings where we see your love and goodness and pray that others might see your love and goodness in our words and actions. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.